Jewish students at Cal, along with supporters from the community, gathered in front of Zellerbach Hall, many of them dressed in white. All we're asking of the administration is that they enforce their own policies and make sure that Jewish students feel like they can walk through the gates to campus every day and feel welcome and have equal rights to free speech. The gate is still blocked uh, in violation of school policies. For weeks, Justice for Palestine supporters have blocked the middle section of Sather Gate with yellow tape. Today, the university took it down, and instead, a massive banner was put up. We found an alternative that would not be taken down immediately. UC Berkeley did not remove it. The banner is up. Um, it, too, represents a violation of what are called time, place, and manner rules. But we assess that using law enforcement to clear it would create turmoil. At noon, the Jewish students marched onto Sproul Plaza, and instead of passing through the gate and past the banner, they avoided a confrontation by literally fording the creek to get to the other side on a footpath. The crowd of 200 Jewish supporters ended up in front of California Hall, where faculty members offered their support, commenting on the February 26th disturbance that forced Jewish students to move off campus. And when we see the kind of despicable violence that we saw here on campus just a few days ago, it is totally and completely unacceptable. And we are here to stand with you and to work with the university to make sure that never happens again. The administration's continued complacency only emboldens those who want to hurt Jews. After the peaceful rally, a woman unaffiliated with the march tore through the paper banner at the gate. UC Berkeley is currently on a U.S. Department of Education list of campuses under investigation for discrimination. I'm Leslie Brinkley, ABC 7 News.